So here we have a 24 year old 1997 Gillig Building USA classic Phantom high flow. One of the most collectible American brand buses ever. And certainly the nicest one I've ever had by far. This bus is in better shape than I would expect it to be new for the most part. It's really spectacular. It's hardly a flaw anywhere. But he's so shiny, so straight. No dents, no scratches to speak of. Nothing. Of course, yeah, where you can open it manually right now. We'll step inside. Here is the driver's compartment. And of course, it's beautiful. It has the highest upgrade, fully adjustable air controlled seat. Rides on air suspension with some airbags. But it doesn't need it either. The bus rides so velvety. So let's start it up. It's actually running, believe it or not. Turn the fans off. It's actually running. You can't really hear it, but it's running. Not much noise. Now this has a front door and a rear door. Both of which open if you need them to. Now that rear door, you may end up uh, building around and uh, maybe can permanently shut if they've been made into showers and other things. But it's really handy while you're building it. And I have one of these out where they actually use it as the main entry door for the uh, as a house. Now this bus is on airbags. After a few hours, it settles down and squats so that you don't have to step up hardly at all to get in. So it's like walking into your house, not like climbing into a truck when you have it parked. So when you're camping, there's no big step up at all. Uh, right now, right now, even with the airbags pumped up, you can see it's just barely curb height. So it doesn't sit up very high off the ground under any circumstances, but it drops another four or five inches after it's parked. So there's no step at all to get in. So working on it, carrying stuff in and out is a piece of cake. Uh, as you look around here, there is a 40 foot long, let's get all the way up to the front here, 40 foot long bus, eight and a half feet wide, so one, uh, six inches wider than most school buses. These seats fold down and make them into beds or seats. You could use them as a giant uh, sitting area and then seat sleep at night. These are reclining seats. You may or may not want to leave in here. They make just sofas. And then in the back is a U-shaped area, which you probably make into the master bedroom. You might make this area here into a shower, or you might leave it as an entry. Plenty of room for a king size bed here. I noticed there's no uh, paraphernalia back here. There's a rear window and lots of room for your legs in your bed. So you can sleep with your head up here and, uh, and use the notes and use the space all the way to the very 40 foot, 30th foot of the bus. You don't have to cut it off up here like you would in a normal bus. You go all the way back to the end of the, uh, of the uh, back of the bus. Looking toward the front, you can see she's immaculate. And you can also see the upholstery is all in perfect condition. Floor is in beautiful condition. The glass is all good. The body and paint are just beautiful. The seating is immaculate. The doors are in the windows. Everything's immaculate. The bus is just gorgeous. Pardon my materials here. I get some cleaning materials. So we've got to clean it up, but it doesn't really need it. Has a sign up here you can change the wording on. Probably puts your family name on there. It'd be kind of cool. Again, the uh, passage board. Let's walk along the outside of the bus. It's hard to believe it could be this clean and this shiny. Yeah, I think we'll close the doors first. How's that? So, uh, just open the front door. All right. Can you see that shine? My goodness. Front end, look at that. Just the shiniest thing you ever saw. Beautiful Alcoa alloy wheels, polished alloys. Beautiful tires. There's the rear door on the side. No dents. Motor is back here. 